Hey guys, this is Henri from the American Guitar Academy and today I want to show you how to play a C major scale by only using one string at a time. Now, why do we do that? Um, I know a lot of people who can play a C major scale, like let's say in this area. Right? And that's it. And so once they have to go up the neck into higher registers, um, they everything becomes a mystery, they're lost, and most importantly, they don't even know the note names in this area, right? So, being able to play a simple major scale, like this, piano player would do from left to right where you can see all the half steps and whole steps and whole steps and all these kind of relationships uh, will help you a lot to figure out the whole neck and it's also a very good counting tool. Now a C major scale we have C, D, E, F, G, A, B and then C again, right? So eight notes if you count in the octave. And the half steps are between 3 and 4, and 7 and 8, or 7 and 1. Alright, so let's start on the 5th string, on the 3rd fret. That's your C, that's your starting point, that's your number 1. And let's play one octave. So you have 1, 2, 3, now 3 and 4 is half step, so only one fret. 4, 5, 6, 7, now between 7 and 1 or 8 is a half step again, so you have 1, and then down again, half step down, so 1, 7, 6, 5, 4, half step to 3, 3, 2, 1, alright? Now let's add the note names to it, so you have C, D, E, half step to F, G, A, B, half step to C again, and down, C, half step to B, A, G, F, half step to E, D, and whole step down to C again. Now let's try this with the sixth string. So the sixth string's name is the E, that would be your number three in the scale. Right, so you have three half step to four, five, six, seven, and then half step back to the root of one. One, and whole step to two, whole step to three, half step to four, whole step to five, whole step to six, whole step to seven and half step to the 1 or root again. You can actually go one higher to the D and back. C, B, A, G, F, E, D, C. 1, 7, 6, 5, 4, And now let's try the fourth string. So the fourth string of the guitar is the D. So that would be the number two in the scale. So you have two, whole step to three, half step to four, whole step to five, whole step to six, whole step to seven, and half step to one again to the root, and then whole step to 2, and then your whole step to E, half step to F, whole step to G, whole step to A, whole step to B, and another half step to the C. Yeah, and let's go down. So you have C, B, A, G, F. E, D, C, B, A, G, 
F, F step to E, and let go, then you're back at the 2 or the D again. Now let me tell you that, of course, nobody's going to play by only using one finger all the time on one string, like a solo or a melody, unless you're like some heavy metal guy, which is great too, by the way. But um, just to get to find your way around the neck and, you know, figuring out the note names in this register, this is definitely a good tool to help you develop that skill. So this time we only did the sixth, fifth, and fourth string, right? And next month we're going to do the third, second, and the first string, all right? So I hope you enjoyed this. Um, please sign up to our YouTube channel and hope to see you soon.